Christ, Fairchild. Thanks to Chitose, you've got nowhere else to run. I'm sending you the police with a nice big ribbon. I'd say that's mission accomplished. Hey, Kasuga. No. We're not out just yet. Okay, I'd say that's our cue. Yeah, for all they did, for all Chitose sacrificed, we need to do our job. Definitely. Makes me feel like we gotta, especially after seeing it for ourselves. Oh yeah, I got a real fire burning now. I'll say, our boy Ichiban sure knows how to pull it off, huh? Uh, why are you looking at me? <laughs> Uh, no reason. <laughs> Sounds like we're ready. Fine. Just so long as we don't get cocky. Sure thing. Time to roll, Kiryu-san. Yeah. Got it. Smells like something good's cooking, Chief. I've got nothing up your alley today. Hard enough just to get a meal around here. I understand, but I'm also confident you'll pull through. You know I pay well for even the tiniest morsel. <laughs> that, I never doubted. This homeless camp is actually part of Sun He's information network. They call that man their chief. And his friends all over town are always coming to him with new stories. Security cams can't catch everything. That's why you can't underestimate word of mouth. Sorry for keeping you. We owe the chief a lot, so I just wanted to check in on him. No worries. Come on, let's go, Kiryu-san. Hey, hold on there, psycho. Hmm? Is something the matter, Chief? The man's called Suzuki-san, no? You ought to be more careful. R right Of course. <sighs> it's tiring, leading a life without being seen. This place is full of folks walking that same path. Your hardships remind me of my own. Tai Chi, Suzuki-san. <sighs> Seems we both have it rough, don't we? Well, I'm sure it's rougher on you. I hear you were once quite infamous. Unlike myself, nobody ever cared whether I lived or died. I'm sure that's not true. Believe me, it is. And if you need convincing, I've got plenty of past left untold. Uh, sorry, Chief, but Kiri- um, uh, Suzuki-san might be a little busy right now. That's so. Then I won't hold you here any longer. <laughs> well, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I just didn't know how long he might have kept us. That was rather odd, though. Wonder what's gotten into him. What do you mean? The people here never talk about themselves, especially their past. Even I don't know the Chief's background. Considering he's the one who started the conversation, Maybe he feels a connection with you, Kiryu-san. Hmm. We both live in the shadows, after all. Seems like the Chief went through a lot before he ended up here. I'm thinking he was ready to tell me some of it. 
One of the men in the photo must have been him in his younger days. I wonder, should I ask him about it? Chief, about that photo you showed us, who was that person with you? Oh, him. That was my old boss. We used to work at the local factory. Must have been about 10, 20 years ago. Might as well be ancient history now. Back when the sun shined a little brighter for you, you mean? Something like that. We've been trudging along a dark and thorny path, you and I. If only we had done a single thing different. Maybe we'd be walking with our heads held a little higher. Yet, here we are now. Somehow in each other's company. An odd, once-in-a-lifetime encounter. Anyway, one on the right's me, on the left was my boss. We called him Captain down at the factory. When I started working after high school, he was the one showing me the ropes. If you've been working straight out of high school, you must have worked a long time. I may not look the part now, but I was once a master mechanic. Couldn't be beat. But when automation took over the industry, it became apparent that my work was unnecessary. Eventually, they stopped hiring younger folk. We knew for years the number of applicants was tapering off. Not that there was anything I could do about it. The skills I spent a lifetime honing could be executed a dozen times faster by robots. Naturally, the company moved forward with plans to restructure, and Cap himself had the honor of giving me the boot. That must have been hard. For you and the captain. Cap, well, he and I were like family. But if he didn't fire me, then he'd be the one out on the streets. That left him with only one option. To hand me my dismissal. At that time, I was almost 50. I thought my whole life was over. But then, he said that he'd quit with me. That he'd look after me. He did that for you? Wasn't like he had any job security either. Our jobs were destined to disappear. I was merely the first in line. So, we walked out the door one final time, side by side. And sure enough, the place was shuttered soon after. After so many years of service, the severance pay was peanuts. At least we didn't have any families to feed. And that's how you ended up homeless? Yeah. That's when I started to camp here. Had I been alone, I would have died a dog's death real fast. Cap was a lot smarter than me. The man took to his new lifestyle quickly. Occasionally, there'd be folks harassing us, but he'd take the lead and fight back. Everyone around him started to trust him, and eventually, he inherited the title of chief. So you can only become chief through secession. That's right. It's a practice that's lasted generations. There have even been times when folks from the underground would make us do them favors in exchange for protection. And Cap, stout-hearted man that he was, didn't flinch. As chief, he'd do anything to protect us. He continued to shoulder the burden all by himself, <sighs> till his body gave out. He didn't bother seeing a doctor, but I bet he knew he had late-stage cancer. Since you're the chief now, that means he... I called out for him one morning about seven, eight years ago. But he was dead in his tent. I think it was the most peaceful I've ever seen him. And maybe it was. Because he could finally set aside the heavy burden that had been weighing him down. Me. And that's why you took on his role? To start paying it forward? Exactly. The entire time he was with me, I never took responsibility for anything. And now, at my ripe old age, I finally get a taste of the constant pressure he was under. Chief. Nobody's filled me in on why you were forced into hiding, going as far as erasing your name. But I've heard you're not taking care of your illness, even though you're still giving Kasuka aid. 
A lot like what Cap did with me. Hmm, something like that. Yeah. If you find that living is no longer worthwhile, the final call is yours. There's no law saying you gotta see a doctor if you're sick. However, if by any chance you change your mind, you can always come back here. You're welcome to stay at the camp for as long as I'm cheap. I never got the chance to repay Cap's kindness, but I figure helping people like you is a step in the right direction. Well, I appreciate the thought, but I can't accept your offer right now. Sorry. Yeah, I'm aware. You still got business to take care of, don't you? <sighs> At any rate, I'm glad I got to speak with you, Suzuki-san. And sorry for making you listen to such an old story. No need to apologize. I learned a lot from your story. Thanks for sharing, Chief. Come on in. Thanks. Good to see you, Suzuki-san. Mm. Thanks. All right if I stop in? No need to ask. You're always welcome here, friend. Sir? Is there something on my face? Uh, no, of course not. I apologize. <laughs> Just a little joke I have. After all, there's always something on my face. Can I ask, have you been in Yokohama a long time? Well, now I haven't kept count. Must be over a decade at this point. Huh. That is quite a while. One more question, sorry. Um, do you happen to have a favorite food? Hmm. Good question. Why do you ask? Cold noodles. Any chance you're uh, partial to them? Guilty as charged. I do fancy a bowl now and again, yes. It's just... I once knew someone who preferred them as well. He was practically an older brother to me. And you bear such a striking resemblance to him. I couldn't help thinking that, maybe... Hmm. Forgive me. This isn't your concern. Nonsense, sir. So long as I'm proprietor, my customers' concerns are my own. <laughs> Makes me feel a bit better to hear that. Suzuki-san. I get the sense you've endured some hardships. Enough time spent behind a bar, you can read most by their face alone. Then tell me, bartender. What do I have on my face? You were always strong. So you never learned to ask for help. And too few know when you've been hurt. That's the impression I get, anyway. <laughs> I see. 
I'm joking again. That's how almost every man starts seeing himself past middle age. Especially the ones with such worn and chiseled faces. <laughs> Sounds like that must apply to you, too. Ah. Before I came to own this place, I also lived in a world with no room for weakness. Mm -hmm. Forget it. It's not important. Whatever you say. Let me put it like this. I was raised believing that vulnerability was the enemy of survival. I carried that dogma with me for too long. Is it the same for you, perhaps, Suzuki-san? Are you saying your outlooks changed since then? I accept help when offered now, to one degree or another, while trying to give those around me whatever help I can. And I'm content with how things are. Maybe that's what it means to have a real home. And to do more with life than just survive it. That's an admirable point of view. You've fought so many battles and loved so many people. Maybe all that's left of you are your scars. How could anyone call this a just world when men like you can't be promised a good, proud ending? <laughs> Come on. How do you know you say that to all the guys? I'm saying it to you. Saying it as someone who's found a happiness here that I worry you never could. Again and again, you've been denied peace and rest. You've been denied something as precious as your name itself. But right now, for this one moment, you have people willing to help you if you ask them to. After all the tragic mistakes, their camaraderie is what proves you're still a noble man. Hey, uh, is it just me, or are they staring at us right now? The bartender's never usually so chatty. <laughs> Wonder what they're saying. I can't simply tell you to embrace vulnerability, but try depending on them while you can. After all, you're getting up there in years. <laughs> you're almost too big to be told what to do. It's uncanny. You're so much like him, bartender. My old Aniki in another life. May I say, sir, that if the day does come when you're able to take back your name, I'd like to see you then. We'll speak frankly. Neither of us will have anything left to hide. I'll pour you a drink worthy of yourself that day. On the house. Naturally. For what it's worth, I liked this drink too. I think I should go. Thank you for the conversation, bartender. <laughs> the pleasure was mine, friend. Always happy to help. Appreciate it. So long. Now you know why it's called Survive. <laughs> Names are such powerful things. No problem so far.
Yuki. Oh, hey, Kiryu-san. So this is Forshine Tokyo, huh? Never imagined our club would make its way here. To think our tiny little cabaret that nearly went under would come so far. Sorry, I'm getting a little emotional. You were against expanding to Kanto, weren't you? Nah, I wasn't exactly against it. I just, you know, never found the courage. I was scared of failing and losing everything that we built. That's why I could never bring myself to do it. But Koyuki-chan's amazing. She knew the risks and still pressed forward. No matter the end result, this is a huge first step. Yeah, you're right. Yo, asshole! You really did a number on me last time. Who's he? A friend of yours? Does he look like a friend? A club's turnout on day one shows how it's gonna do in the future, so we figured we'd crash the party. <laughs> Yuki, stand back. What? You gonna stop us, Grandpa? I'd like to see you try. Come on, it's your bedtime. Bring it on. Allow me. It's over. You're going to regret this. What? Try to watch this. You asked for it. It's over. Here we go. Time to put you down. I'm on the roll. Let's go. In for the kill. done cleaning up the entrance. Let's take a look inside, Yuki. Okay! Hello! I'm sorry, we're not open yet. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! What? Yuki-san? Hey there, Koyuki-chan! I heard you were in a pickle, so I came to help out. Well, if that's okay, that is. Of course that's okay. Why wouldn't it be? But aren't you super busy with your restaurant? Well, about that. I'm not busy at all. I just wanted to look cool in front of you. I'm so, so sorry. Uh, wait, really? Yeah, really. She had a lot of time on her hands. Ouch. Truth hurts. <laughs> Yuki-san! Whoa there, what's wrong? Nothing. I just... I just really, really wanted to see you. I was so lonely without you. Koyuki-chan! I wanted to see you too. You're doing great, you know. <laughs> hey, it's about time to open up shop, isn't it? Don't you need to get ready? Oh, right. Uh, Yuki-san, do you mind lending me a hand? Of Course I don't mind. Wow, after all these years, I can't believe I get to be a hostess again. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so stoked! Come on, this way, Yuki-san! You just sit tight, Kiryu-san! Alright. Sorry for the wait. <laughs> so, what do you think? Beautiful. <laughs> you look stunning, Yuki-san. Ah, with you around, it's like we've got a hundred girls working the floor. But today's the grand opening, right? 
If only we had another first-rate hostess here to really get things rolling. Hmm. But do we know anyone like that? Hmm. A first-rate hostess, huh? I might know someone. Huh? You do? That's great! Could you please, please, please ask her? Sure. I'll give her a call. I was wondering what's all the hurry, but I never expected you to call me over to a cabaret club. Who's this? A friend of mine, Saiko. She's the mama of her own club back in Yokohama. I'm Koyuki. Oh, sorry for having you come all the way here, Saiko-san. And I'm Yuki. I've known Kiryu-san for pretty much forever. Yuki and... Koyuki? No way. Yuki-san and Koyuki-san, as in the legendary hostesses of Four Shine? Sotenbury's number one cabaret club? Uh, yep, we sure are. Oh my god! Oh, this is incredible. I can't believe I'm meeting actual legends. I have read your cabaret management book over and over, Yuki-san. <laughs> Thank you, that's sweet. Now, when did you get published? Uh, it just happens to happen one day. Man, what was I even thinking? But hearing how someone read it from cover to cover makes me real happy. Um, anyway, today is our grand opening, Psycho-san, but we're a little short-staffed. I'm sorry this is all so last minute, but do you think you could help us out? We'll definitely pay you and all, so... Yes, of course, I'd love to. Oh, this would be such a great learning opportunity, and it's such an honor to work alongside you both. Awesome! Thank you so much! So, do we have enough hostesses? Yes, all thanks to you, Kiryu-san. But we still have one more role to fill. Hmm? What role? Wait, don't tell me. Wow, black really suits you, Kiryu-san. Just like old times, right? Sure takes me back. Ooh, you look real handsome. <laughs> Sorry, we don't have many guys working today either. I really appreciate you stepping in. Ooh, hold up. You were a manager at Forshine, Kiryu-san? How'd that happen? When you live as long as I have, you experience all sorts of things. I'm already dressed for the part, so... I might as well go all the way. Let's make this a night to remember. <laughs> exactly! It's nearly opening time! Ready, ladies? Forshine Tokyo is open for business! Finally over. That was a great showing. As expected of the Kansai giant Forshine. Great work, everyone. Y'all did amazing out there. Oh, that goes for you too, Kiryu-san. And I really can't thank you enough, Yuki-san, Saiko-san. Thanks to everyone's efforts, we made it through the night. When I took over for Yuki-san, I didn't want people thinking Forshine was done for the moment it changed hands. That's why I kept pushing to expand to Kanto. But in the end, I just exhausted myself. Honestly, I feel awful for dragging you all into my mess. I wish I could have gone about it better. Yuki-san would have done a better job for sure. I'm really sorry for my incompetence. <sighs> Koyuki. What are you saying, Koyuki-chan? You attempted something I never had the courage to do. Just that by itself is amazing. I wouldn't have even gone for it. Like, yeah, it's true there are things I can do that you can't right now. But same goes the other way around. There are lots of things you can do that I can't even imagine. 
So you just keep doing you, Koyuki-chan, and give everything 100%. There's really no need to copy me, not when you've got plenty going for you. Plus, you've got skill, trust me. So believe in yourself. I want you to shine bright as the star of your own show, all right? Yuki-san. I get why everyone calls her the legendary hostess. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Thank you all so much for today. You've got a handle on things now? Yeah, and I think the harassment will die down thanks to you, Kiryu-san. I'm gonna give it 100% for the sake of my precious foreshine. Come stop by again sometime. You too, Psycho-san. I'd love to. Keep at it, Koyuki-chan! I think I need to step up my game, too! Gotta keep my restaurant afloat! By the way, what kind of restaurant are you running, Yuki-san? You never told me. Oh, she didn't? It's a Chirashi sushi place. Huh? But why sushi, of all things? <laughs> oh, you know, you experience all sorts of things when you live as long as I have. Anyway, my business hasn't taken off at all, so I ought to learn from your example and do my best. Well, we can't have your restaurant go under. I'll visit you every day and have chirashi for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. But don't worry about me, all right? Just focus on your club. <laughs> all right. Well, guess this is it then. You ladies take care. Wait! Uh, what's up? Since we're all here, why don't we do that thing one last time before we head out? That thing? Oh, <laughs> right. That. Yeah, let's do it! You too, Saiko-san. How about it? That... oh, that thing from the photo in Yuki-san's book! All right, fine. Might as well sign off with that. Okay, here goes! Let's wish each other all the best in our future endeavors! One... Two... Three... Four time! Nice work out there.
All set to head out? We'll get you to Camarocho, quick as we can. Understood. Rakani san and Lani don't need protection. All part of the orders. Besides, we don't intend on wasting your efforts. We wouldn't do that to you. You mean you guys finally grow a conscience? Just get in the car. Next stop's the final act. and upwards. <laughs> yeah. Let's get this over with, shall we? I've been away from the club long enough. Yeah, I'm sure. I've got a mountain of work back home. Well, all right. Glad we're feeling confident. Hmm. Huh? Second thoughts, Kiryusa? All of you. Are you sure about this? Yes. I'm the one who needs to settle the score with Ebina. This isn't your fight. You'll just be risking your lives. Ugh. Come on! Is now really the time? Yeah, man. Gotta say, I'm a little hurt. Kiryu-san, we've got our roles. This is our business as much as it is yours. Helping Saurashiro, taking down Ebina, we're with you every step of the way. Yeah. Besides, we can't just let a friend waltz headfirst into danger by himself. Uh, friend? They say you're some legendary Yakuza, but for me, it just doesn't fit the bill. Kiryu I know, he loves good booze and karaoke, and he throws a hell of a punch. He's also a friend like no other. Does that sound about right? You're carrying way too much on your own. And why bother when you've got us? Isn't that what friends are for? <sighs> yeah, you're right. So much has happened. Sometimes I just forget. <laughs> now then, what do you guys say? Think you can lend me a hand here? I won't hold back. Nothing personal. Let's finish this! You think you can win? Another one in your hand, huh? Time to shine! You're going down. Now 
Now we're talking. Let's <laughs> tear that. Yeah, Ooh, you picked the wrong opponent. There's more where Sweet. this came from. Mercy now. What's the hold up? Watch this. Your heart's mine. Let's get this show on the road. Abina's probably up top. Good chance he'll be watching us, too. Oh, we've got a ways to go. Night.
The monster you need to me what you got. This will be tough. Get serious. In for the kill! You asked for it. This will be tough. There's no way to fight it. <laughs> Bring it on. I'm on a roll. Let's go. In for the kill. You asked for it. Oh. This is so ah. I'm pretty bold of you. Damn it. What's the killer? Bring it on. Allow me. Nothing personal. Let's finish this. You're going to get 
You asked for it. Give this a little while. This will help. Tap a shot. Watch this! It's booze time! <laughs> Ooh, someone's gonna pay! Yeah. I'm on a roll! Let's go! In for the kill! No! <laughs> I doubt you'll <laughs> <laughs> Out of my sight! Yeah, the they need to relish this moment! Hey, might be a good place to rest. Why don't we take a minute? It's a long way up. Hey, I'm in good shape. Nothing! 
I won't hold back. Let's do it. Nothing personal. Let's finish this! Tap the shot! You're going down! So! Yeah! I feel so heavy. In for the kill! No, no. 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 There's no way to fight. You want some? Put you down. Time to shut it down. Feel the heat! Good stuff. Should I open it? Use a breather. Oh, I'm wiped. Ugh. I mean, they sent all those guys to Hawaii, and we're still up to our necks. Uh, since when was the Saver You clan this big? Well, if I had to guess, oh. I'd say most of them just joined. <clears throat> Probably old Tojo or Omi boys. The Saryu clan were likely their last hope. What with the five year claws taking its toll.
Get up. Uh, hold your horses a sec, huh? We've got a clear floor. No. There's a reason this room's empty. Take cover! What do we do now? We wait till he runs out! Oh, sure! We got plenty of time for that! Come on! Get down! Oh, is that all you got? You came. You know, ever since our little scuffle, I ain't felt right. Like I had an itch I couldn't scratch. I wanted blood, and lots of it. So after giving it some thought, we figure we ought to indulge ourselves, huh? Why go it alone? Cleaning up the Yakuza was always a team sport after all. It's about time we stepped in. You mean... you'll fight with us? We will. Provided you're okay with that. We're more than okay. Talk about a lineup! Well, look a here. Kazuma Kiryu's one thing, but this is just too good to be true. Three years has been a long time coming. Three years since what? What? <laughs> Ain't it obvious? We're ex-Omi, and we weren't just some grunts. We were there for the big split. That's right. You fellas really did us dirty that day. It's time we returned the favor. You can try. If you're angry with us, then by all means, give us your best shot! Kill them all! Season <laughs> This ought to be good. Kill your son! We've got your back! Right. Here we go. Nothing personal. Let's finish this! Right there! On some.
Damn, there's no end to them. Kill your son. We got it here. You keep moving. Right, we're off. Try to stay alive, yeah? Dumbass. Seriously? That's my line. Get going! They knew where to send the troops. Yep, all according to plan. Tire us out, then finish us off. Smart. Too bad it won't work. Let's go. Well, let's get started. Here we go. Ready for the knockout. Let's finish this!
it. May I raise a glass to you? I'm you? Start the night off. Your face is enchanting. Hey, where are you going? Let's spend a whole night together. Oh my. Go! Go! You! Go! Ready! Go! To be a Go! Ecstasy! Eyes on the prize. Three, two, one! Let's hear you! We hope to see you again soon. I won't hold that. Now then. 
Right on time, as I'd expect, Kiryu-san. Welcome to Bleach Japan. Gee, thanks. You know, I get this place is just another front for you, but still. 
Little on the drab side, don't you think? <laughs> as long as it keeps people from sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. And why care? I'm done with Palakana. It was only a matter of time before that deal ran its course. What? Uh, surely it was obvious. Nele Island, the disposal site. It was nothing but a cheap hole in the ground. The cave would naturally fill up at some point, which would mean, of course, pollution. It wouldn't work. Even with influence over the other countries involved, eventually the truth would come out. Frankly, I'm not sure what Bryce was thinking. Whether the truth remained hidden or not was of little consequence in the grand scheme of things. It was destined to fail, and nothing could have changed that. <laughs> so, what? You don't care? Then why? Why do any of this? Much as it pains me, my own aspirations were never meant to be. Ebina, where's Sawashiro? Why, he's right here. <laughs> Sawashiro. Ebina, you bastard! What are you all so angry about? He's done the same to others countless times, has he not? Time and time again. An eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth. I merely gave him what he rightly deserved. Of course, there's also those on Nele Island. They'll receive due punishment as well. What's your problem? What do you have against the Yakuza? <sighs> Why ask what you already know? My mother, as you learned, was the Hikawa Patriarch's daughter, Yuriko Hikawa. And my father, just as you surmised, was Masumi Arakawa. Regardless of whatever her father intended, my mother loved Arakawa with all her heart. On the other hand, she also knew that the man harbored deep feelings for another woman. Thus she felt both joy and guilt. Indeed, she was engaged, but it was undeniably a mixed blessing. Perhaps if she bore their child, Arakawa couldn't ignore that. Surely his feelings would sway. Wishful thinking on her part. And then you came into the picture. Correct. But before the pregnancy came to light, Hikawa came under Arakawa's wrath. The family was destroyed. My mother was always frail, you see. Once she had me, the burden of raising a child alone was too much. A Yakuza's bonds are thicker than blood, we were told. <sighs> foolish words from foolish people. They never gave my mother a chance. When Hikawa died, the family went with him. I watched his men scatter like the rats they are. And yet... Please don't hate them. Not your father. Not any of them. Those were her last words. She was a fool too, it seems. Betrayed by the man she loved, used by her own father, and tossed aside by those who called her family. If not her, if she couldn't take revenge, then why on earth shouldn't I? That's when this started. You wanted to make the Yakuza pay. That's right. Still, you said it yourself just now. Your aspirations were never meant to be. <laughs> How could they be? What would I have done? There's too many of you to count. Do I go around killing them one by one? Believe me, I would if I were able. <sighs> Everything I've accomplished, why... It was simply the next best thing. A compromise, you might say. Honestly, it's been a long road. I first tried to eradicate your kind as a police officer. But you were one step ahead of me. Your great dissolution scattered you all to the wind. 
And that wasn't all. In the confusion that followed, Masumi Arakawa went and got himself killed. That's when I realized vengeance would never be mine. That snake. I wanted to wring his neck myself. <gasps> Masumi Arakawa. It's true he was loved among the Yakuza, oh yes. But all I see is the wretch who left my mother to die. Ichiban Kasuga's reverence for him is a joke. A sick mockery of my life! Kasuga's blind as they come. He's no different than those that Bryce fooled. Another Palakana pig suckling its shit. You son of a... <sighs> anyway, my dream to strike back at Arakawa had clearly been denied. It took a good deal of time to recover, but I knew I needed a new plan. So I set sights on the Yakuza freed in the dissolution. All those years preying on those weaker than them, and now they wanted an honest life? Their dream would be as futile as mine. And it dawned on me. So what if they're scattered? I'll just round them up. The Tojo and the Omi might have disbanded, but not the Seryu clan. I baited new recruits however I could. A new Yakuza life? Fine. A cushy seat in society? But of course. Sure enough, they came marching in by the droves. Ants! Trickling in at the promise of sugar. <laughs> if they only knew how stupid they looked. No later than that, I began thinking of a way to get rid of them all. When from Bryce comes a special business venture courtesy of our very own Eiji. By then they'd already secured an LA island with Fujinomiya shipping as the means of transport. They just couldn't find the manpower. Now they were dealing with radioactive material, so that was only natural. But to me, well, it all sounded very convenient. Those stooges in the Serio clan, I knew just what to do with them. It was clear as day. I could make them suffer, subject them to far more than just unloading waste. Nele Island is effectively a giant black box. There'd be no running away, no refuge from their pain. Their cries would never escape the island. They'd be at my whim, wouldn't they? What a gift. The island turned out to be like an antlion's trap. Before long, it would drag them all to hell. <laughs> AG proved more valuable than I thought. Nele Island wasn't all he brought me. I haven't told you, have I? AG's the one who figured out the truth behind Chairman Hoshino's murder. Wait, what? While at Bleach Japan, he learned much about Ryo Aoki. Or perhaps I should call him Masato Arakawa, yes? That hit on Hoshino was a ruse. Sawashiro was, for all intents and purposes, innocent in the affair. Amazing what a little leverage can do. He joined the Serio without hesitation. Right. And then you had Eiji's web skills. Tatara Channel was your ace in the hall. Indeed it was. Well, I suppose that's enough. It's almost ironic, wouldn't you say? Masumi Arakawa leaves two sons behind. One who worships the ground he walks on, and the other who spits on his grave. One works to rehabilitate the Yakuza, and the other, in all his hatred, sends them to their doom. We are mirror images. He and I. <clears throat> You're not wrong there. But Ebina, there's one thing you might add to that. Care to guess what it is? <laughs> Go on. You said the nuclear waste project was a compromise for taking revenge on the Yakuza, right? You said it was impossible to go after all of them. Ichiban's different. <laughs> 
that moron. He seriously tried to give every one of them a normal life again. He sat there day after day, no matter how impossible it might have seemed. <laughs> Hot dog. I wish Ichiban could have heard all that. Tell him and I'll knock your lights out. Ebina, it's clear you're angry. I won't deny you that. I wouldn't have the right. It was a different time. But when I was chairman of the Tojo, I had a chance. I could have changed the Yakuza for the better. I should have. But I did no such thing. Uh, Kiryu-san. Still, this has to end. I can't just sit back and watch as you burn it all to the ground. It's up to me to stop you. And believe me, I will. I'm gonna set this right. The sins of the Yakuza are mine. And if I have to, I'll take on every last one. Hmm. How very noble of you. Come on, you forget what we said downstairs? You and a lone wolf routine, I swear. Yeah, seriously. Now let's finish this together, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Huh. Well then, let's begin. Kazuma Kiryu is about to make his final stand. And at the Millennium Tower, no less. What could be more fitting? <laughs> yeah. I was thinking the same thing. Time to die. Kazuma Kiryu! Come on! Ideals all you want, you're still Yakuza! That's all you'll ever be! Let's raise hell! Let's see. Feeling out the out of my way! Unstoppable! Yeah, what's the hold up? You think you can win? Have fun with this!
Time to shut it down. Feel the heat. for mercy now. I'm over here. Have fun with this. All good. Follow my lead. Ready for the knockout? Quality product. Just a moment. Reggie, only this was.
Have fun with this. Happy birthday! Let's settle this once and for all. Nothing personal. What? I'll tear it all down! You're going to regret this. In for the kill! Bonds. Taking responsibility. You disgust me! What an eyesore. On some. Check this out! This should do! Here. No begging for mercy now. Watch this! Follow my lead. Get serious. Ready for the knockout. I'm on the roll. Let's get our out. Let's finish it. Together. We only need one Natural. shot. Hope you're ready. Follow my lead. Nothing personal.
enough now. Why don't we finish this? Yeah. <sighs> Kiryu san! <laughs> Kill me. Kill you, son. This is your problem. It's why the Yakuza keep rearing their ugly heads. The lot of you. Whether you retire. Whether you disband, you always come crawling back. <sighs> You're a Yakuza through and through, and you can't erase that no matter what. <sighs> You'll say sorry again and again, and then find some way to justify it. The bigger the Yakuza, the bigger and better the future they promise. All so they can keep on fighting. If you let me live, how long before I too come crawling back? You may have put things on hold for now. But someone can pick up to pieces. Rid the world of your filth! If not me, then someone else! The country's elite demand it. They were counting on me to see it through. If you don't finish me off, the future stays the same. I'll still make an example of the Yakuza one way or another. If you truly want them all to break free and find their place in this world, then hurry up! And put an end to this before it's too late! I've lived in the twilight of the Yakuza all my life! You get rid of me, or I will keep coming back! Do you understand, Kazuma Kiryu? Ebina. Nothing I say would ever be enough, and I've no right to try. The hate you have for Arakawa, for Hikawa, the crush you've carried, I get it. But please, I beg you, for their sake, give them the chance to atone. There's one way to do that. We all have to live on. Whether you're scum or not. That doesn't matter. You can't change a thing if you're dead. All of us, we have to keep going. And it's not light, nor is it dark. It's the greatest road there is. So please, Ebina, please, you have to live, you have to keep moving, I'm asking you, please don't kill them, please, I'll apologize, I know it won't make up for any of this, but I, I'm sorry. Forgive me. No! <laughs> <laughs> Carry 
Kiryu-san! Stay with us, Kiryu-san! 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 Open your damn eyes, Kiryu! Kiryu-san! Don't die! You can't die! Kiryu! Yo, long time no see, Eichan. Huh. Kasuga. Well, the public wants what it wants, I guess. And right now, it looks like that's you. Funny how the tables turn sometimes, huh? How'd you find me? What? You haven't looked outside yet? Quite an audience brewing down there. Still, they don't know you're in here. They might have got the building right, but... That's about it. Me? I got a little help from the police. Didn't take too long to find you after that. <laughs> Why did you come here? <sighs> it's not just them, you know. It's everyone. Every Yakuza in the country wants your head on a plate. Abina's master plan? Anyone who's anyone knows you were a part of that. Just tell me what you want, damn it! Turn yourself in, Achan. I'll even come with you. Huh? You can run, but I guarantee you won't last. They'll kill you, eventually. Even more than that. I want you to have a chance to atone. If you can see that through, well... Let's head back to Hawaii, all right? You... Why are you still acting like we're friends? Because we are, man. I mean it, Eichan. After all said and done, you're still my pal. <laughs> and you know, I'd be pretty stoked to know you feel the same way. Honest, I would. How can you even think that? After everything I've done to you. <laughs> I guess I just can't help it. We spent all that time in Hawaii together. I mean, great food, plenty of bullshitting. Just a heck of a good time, really. Yeah, the truth kind of killed the mood. And you were a real pain in the ass, but... I could never forget what fun we did have. No way. Achan. <sighs> you can't take those things back. And running away isn't gonna help either. Even if you do serve your sentence, those choices will still be there. But... You always have a chance to start over. Accept what you did. Be real with yourself. Only then can you take that first big step forward. If you really want to start your life over, guess what, man? You can. Kasuga. I'm telling you, Eichan. If you really feel like you want to give it a fresh start, then we'll do it together. I promise. I'll be right there waiting. The day you get out, whether it's years or even decades, I'll be there. <sighs> you can't be serious. No one would ever believe that. <laughs> and yet, somehow, I know you're telling the truth. It's who you are. 
who you've always been. You're as rare as they come. <laughs> to think I get to meet you. Yeah, well, <laughs> you say rare, others say foolish. <laughs> foolish, huh? The only foolish one here is me. <sighs> so give it to me straight. Can I really go to the police like this? <sighs> Seriously, I don't even have ID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll be all right. <laughs> I'm used to this part too. Just leave it to me. <laughs> Appreciate the help. <laughs> You're hurt, huh? I got chased on my way here, among other things. I guess all that pretending finally caught up to me, huh? How <laughs> it goes, I suppose. Hey, the fact you think that's a good thing means you'll be just fine. What? If you didn't think that, then who knows how you'd feel. Better to feel bad, right? That means you can make amends, without a doubt. <laughs> Here, grab my shoulder. <clears throat> Because, son, please. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. No, oh, man. I'm used to this kind of thing. Besides, if they want to hate, I say let them. The hell should either of us care? We know where you're at. Your heart's in the right place. That's all that matters. That's it. If you ever feel down, or even a little lost, 
By all means, give me your ring. I'll hear you out. I mean, what are friends for? Right? I think that's good. Thanks. Sure thing. Well, then, I guess it's goodbye for now. For now. Thank you for everything, Kasuga san. Yeah. See you around, Eichan. Yeah. Till then. John! Uh, uh. Oh, we ho, pal! Oh, we ho! <laughs> Do you even know what you're saying? <laughs> right? Oh, we ho! Ichiban! Hell yeah! Hang in there, hey John. All right, it's time for some grub.
Hard to believe it's been a month. Time sure flies, huh? Ebina, A.G., Bryce... They've all but vanished. Guess people have moved on. Yeah? So what's trending now? Some two-timing politician who got caught in the act? <sighs> yeah, figures as much. <laughs> well, just the way of the world, man. The public eye came through for us, at least. Who are we to complain? Let alone care. Life will go on either way. As long as we remember that, that's all that matters. Okay, what about this? Ebina's angle. Why keep Sawashiro alive that whole time? He hated the Yakuza for all they're worth. That is true. What do you mean, why? He said so himself, right? That bit about his own aspirations being forfeit from the get-go. Yeah? Well, the dude still had a role to play. From what I gathered, he was probably hoping someone would speak up to him before things got out of hand. Tell him, yeah, I get that you're angry, or hey, it's gonna be all right. I'm sure that would have made all the difference. I mean, you're looking at a guy who had people telling him who and what he was from day one. Crazy as it sounds, the two of us might as well have shared shoes. How I need to live is one thing. But how I want to live is another. Get those mixed up, and life don't make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> or maybe it's just that Sawashiro was a lot tougher than he thought. <laughs> yeah, what was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> well, Ebina had his reasons. Guess that one will stay with him. Besides, it's not like all said and done. Lonnie's got a lot of responsibility coming her way. Huh, to think a little girl like her's their new sage. Almost seems cruel, don't it? Look, Lonnie made that decision herself. She had good reason to. Rebuilding the group will help her keep that orphanage going. <laughs> That's true. Plus, Akane-san's with her, too. <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, I'm planning to help out once I'm back stateside. Oh? All right. Oh, yeah. Their soup kitchen saved my ass loads of times. It's the least I can do to say thanks. Uh, Bryce aside, Polycana still did plenty of good for others, and why is homeless need help too? I figure now's the time to step up, you know, lend others a hand. Tomizawa. <laughs> I'll be darned, you've really grown up. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm just trying to do what I can. I mean, I'm nothing compared to Lani, even less so Chitose. That's right. She's chosen a difficult road for herself. Not only did she expose their misdeeds, but she became the Fujinomiya chairwoman soon after. She wasn't too keen on her family, either. <sighs> right. You know, I think I kind of get how she feels. When you're around, Ichiban, there's this feeling like you gotta do your best, no matter what. And it's natural. It's not like he's barking orders at you left and right. No, I get what you mean. It was the same for all of us, too. Sure was. That's just the kind of man he is. Through and through. <sighs> so, you guys think old Kasuga-kun might actually set things straight this time around? Huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah. He's still uh, hemming and hawing out there. The beer's gonna get warm at this rate. Uh, Ichiban... Seriously, can I go back inside? Uh, 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 sorry, Sachan. Just wanna check this one last time. Am I waiting a little bit longer? Uh, quit dicking around! Man up or shut up, Ichiban Kasuga! Uh, 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 right. Uh, okay. Sorry to keep you waiting, Sachan. You see, there's something I want to say. <laughs> Sachan. Well, since last year, all I thought about is you, ever since our date that day. For all I said, I didn't once consider your feelings. As if my selfish ramblings were the problem, and that was the only thing I'd done wrong. Uh, and it's not like those weren't stupid things to say. 
But I finally get it now. That wasn't really the issue. In fact, there was something I should have told you right off the bat. That was something I missed. And it was dumb of me not to see it sooner. It took me a year, but I finally figured out what it was. So with that, Sajan, it's time I say it. I don't want you to hear how I feel. Sajan, I love you. I'm in love with you. Finally, finally you say it. <laughs> oh, I swear it took you long enough. Uh, yeah, well, sorry about that. <laughs> no, I should say sorry too. I totally ignored you. <laughs> cool. Guess we're even? <laughs> yeah, we're even. <laughs> Man, I really did keep you waiting, huh? But hey, this time, I, Ichiban Kasuka, promise to make it up to you! <laughs> Actually, I've been saving a little something special for today. Ooh, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Don't freak out, alright? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> so, what do you think? I figured just saying it wouldn't cut it. I really wanted to put it out there. Hey, guess what? I even got one for you, too. We can wear them together. Show them off all over Yokohama. I mean, what better way to start our journey? Huh? s s s go son Well, he tried. Can't fix stupid, I'm afraid. True. You know... Dumbasses like that rarely give up. They'll tough it out, no matter the odds. Hey, wait! Hang on a second! Sunshine! Hey, Mom, how come Grandpa isn't here? It's okay, Harto. If I know him, we'll see him soon. I know we will. Hello. You're the inpatient with the 11 a.m. this morning, is that correct? If you would, could you please provide your full name, sir? It's Kiryu. Kazuma Kiryu.